And I'll start with a poem called Adults. When I was a kid, or when I was a teenager, I read lots of William Burroughs, um, the American writer. And he's had no effect on my adult work. I don't, can't discern any trace of an influence at all, but he said some funny things. One of the things he said was that he thought when writers grew up, they got to live in um, Mayfair, um, wear smoking jackets, or uh, the, uh, Singapore and drink gin all day, uh, and take opium. And of course it isn't like that at all, as I have discovered, so this poem's called Adults. I'd look up to them looming on street corners, or down on them at night through my bedroom blinds, crashing home from the labour club, mad drunk. After a while, I decided they must be unhappy. And this didn't tally at all with my view of their world. Adults could float through days, sole sovereigns of everything around them, could pass through walls of childish silence or just take off in the sunbeam. So why did I find them at home time slumped in their chairs or throwing their tea up the wall? Why did they cry on their own downstairs with the whole house listening in or plead softly to people who weren't even there? You think you know all the answers at that age. You can't wait to grow up and sort them out. Then go to live in Mayfair or Singapore, wear a smoking jacket and drink gin slings all day, like real writers do.